let's deal with this dumpster fire of a globe debunker, whose videos have about as much substance as a pile of steaming banta fodder. Keep in mind that this is the same guy who said that the direct flight from Buenos Aires to Perth would be faked using two Gulf Streams and 13 sets of identical twins. Part of the evil plot to deceive humanity by pilot Kelsey, aka 74 Gear. In this video, this derp tries to explain how the Southern Cross can be seen from three locations, Salvador, Brazil, Johannesburg, South Africa, and Perth, Australia, simultaneously and the night sky on the flat earth. Listen to what he says. Now 9 p.m. UTC time, let's increment now only 40 minutes, and there you have it. Three people standing in these three different regions can see the Southern Cross at the same time. Extremely easy to understand. First of all, Professor Dave never said that the Southern Cross could be seen from three continents. South America, Africa, and Australia simultaneously. He said two of these locations. Listen to what he said. Literally all observations of the sky from the southern hemisphere are utterly inexplicable on the flat earth. Consider people standing towards the southern tips of South America, Africa, and Australia. They all can see the southern cross when they look south, and two of them at a time can even see it simultaneously, depending on the time of night. Does that make any sense with these folks all looking in completely different directions? None whatsoever. Let's deal with the two locations first. I'm completely stumped as to why you flurfs still can't seem to understand how massive this problem is for your model. Your definition of due south in the southern hemisphere is defined as anywhere radially away from the North Pole, right? So this means that due south from Perth is here, and due south from Johannesburg is here, right? Which means that this is not due south from Perth, and this is not due south from Johannesburg. Right. Let's keep it simple and use today as an example. Let's say it's 5 p.m. my time on Thursday, May 19th, 2022. I'm at minus 4 UTC. Johannesburg is 11 p.m. and Perth, Australia is 5 a.m. Let's jump into Stellarium to see what is observed in the night sky simultaneously at those times from Johannesburg and Perth. This software is free and open source. It's 100% accurate. It shows you exactly what you'd see in the night sky anywhere on the planet at any time. If you're going to cry CGI, try it for yourself. If it weren't 100% accurate, there would be hundreds of thousands of pissed off astrophotographers around the world and we'd hear about it. Our observational view of the night sky from Johannesburg at 11 p.m. local time today shows the Southern Cross 24 degrees to the west of due south. Simultaneously, in Perth, at 5 a.m., we see the Southern Cross much lower in the sky, at 26 degrees to the west of due south. Now let's transpose that verifiable, observational information over to your pancake to see what we get. Due south from Perth towards the constellation Octans. Now, at the exact same time, due south from Johannesburg towards the constellation Octans. Now, let's rotate our positions to the west from each location respectively to match what we saw in Stellarium towards the Southern Cross. If you can't see the problem here, you are living on another planet, trying to fit the round peg of what you observe into the square hole that is your flat earth model. And last but not least, I'll just point out that our good flat earther friend, Mr. Banjo, has his guy in Australia pointing north west to take a look at the Southern Cross, and his guy in Salvador, South America, looking north east. Who's the liar now? I guess you gotta lie to flurf. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, you know what to do. If you didn't like it, I guess you know what to do too. Have a great day, everyone. Cheers.